The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at htj.com slash neogenics. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. This is Ace and Friends. So we're on, Rob. We're actually on and operating. Oh, yeah. Yes. Welcome to the debut edition of the brand new podcast. It is called Ace and Friends. These are my friends, Riggins and Rob. That's all I got. <laughs> that's, that's everybody. No. So Ace and Friends is a simple concept. You can download it starting at 5 o'clock every afternoon as a podcast, and it's just built around having a good time. You can plug it in on your phone on your way home from work, or you get home, you want to go for a walk or run or something like that. We're just here to have some fun. Occasionally, we'll have some cool stuff to think about or share, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, we're just here to tell some stories, play some games, have a good time, make you laugh, enjoy your evening, kind of get you off on the right foot. And it's called Ace and Friends because it'll be, you know, Riggins and Rob are here every day. Sometimes Alexis will be popping in and out. My wife will be popping in and out. And maybe you from time to time. It's all kind of uh, kind of varied. And let's be honest, we're sorting it all out as we go. Because <laughs> we really don't know exactly uh, what is happening for the most part. Yeah. But we will figure it all out. For example, I just had the wrong microphone turned on, Riggins. Nobody heard you a second ago. You <laughs> oh, great. So, all right. So, uh, we'll start every episode with an edition of three things you need to know. So, there are three things you need to know. Number one, today, this is the Ace and Friends podcast. Download it wherever you download podcasts every day. Starting at 5 Eastern. Number one. Riggins, what is number two that they need to know today? We've got new social media accounts set up. Just follow Ace Cannon Media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's all over there. All the Ace's shows are going to be right there. Yeah, so you get Easy all the, to access. All the, all the, uh, the Ace and Friends stuff will be there available uh, every day. And number three that you need to know today. I forgot what it was. You got a new website too, acecannonmedia.com. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to that and check <laughs> Yeah, you should probably check that I out. Need to see what that's about. And it's weird we had to do it that way because Ace and Friends is taken. Yeah. Nobody's doing anything with it, but it's been taken. And they won yeah. like $5,000 for it. We're like, never, you know. No, we'll come up with a better name. We're not interested in that at all. So that's kind of a basic overview of what you can expect um, every day from Ace and Friend. It's going to be fast. It's going to be fun. It's going to kind of happen at high speed. Oh, number three thing. If you want to see the show, you can actually watch on YouTube. No way. On our YouTube channel, Ace TJ TV. It'll be up and available every day for the new Ace and Friends podcast. That's three things you need to know. So Riggins has brought a game from TikTok that we're going to play next. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I, you know, uh, not great with games here on the Ace and Friends podcast. We're going to give it a shot. I think you're going to love it. You don't even know if we're good with games yet. I got a feeling. We haven't done. <laughs> this is the first episode of the Ace and Friends podcast. It may be, we may be good at games on the Ace and Friends podcast. Yeah, this made me laugh until I cried the other day watching it uh, over the weekend. So I, I, we're going to give it a shot here on the Ace and Friends podcast. Yeah, and Rob and I do not know what this game is. Yeah, you've probably seen it already uh, on okay. TikTok and Instagram, but I think it's so funny. All right, so we'll kind of find out next. Hang on. Ace and Friends. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. Ace and Friends. So this game you want to play, Riggins, it comes from TikTok. Yeah, that's where I originally saw it, but I've seen it pop up in other places. 
because it's uh, you know they're already showing baseball games on TV. Like it's you know yeah, spring, spring training is already underway, which is crazy. It's like the middle of February. So, uh, but gosh, it does look fun. I'm like those people are living their best life, like watching a baseball game during the week, sunny out. They're in the short sleeves. I'm like, where Taking, are they living? It's Arizona, it's Florida, and Arizona, Southern well, Florida, and Arizona. Yeah. It looks awesome. Like it's a Wednesday at 11:30. Hey, let's bail out of here. We'll go down and grab a hot dog and a couple of beers and watch a ball game for the afternoon. They got their sunglasses on, like flip flops. I'm like, oh my god, that looks amazing. But you brought it up. That's exactly what this this new game is. Everybody doing um, their hot dog calls. That's what they're called, hot dog calls. How would you sell hot dogs at a baseball game? Like, do it. <laughs> God. So you're the guy that walks up and down the aisles. So you've got the thing strapped around yeah. your neck, and you got the box in front of you. Yeah. And you go up and down the aisles, and you you usually have a dog or two in your hands holding them up. Like, you know, it's your hot dog. It's your, hey, hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> I'll be Franks right here. Yeah, that's how you would do I don't it? Want, no, I wouldn't do it like that. Why are you doing it in a different accent, too? I don't know. It sounds, like, like, it sounds like, like it should be kind of a New York thing. Get you, get you hot dog right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. That's what it's like. Hey, you t hot dog. A fake accent. That's you won't horrible. find a better dog anywhere. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why I went to the fake accent. All right, try do. I'll I'll do mine. This is how I do it. So okay. I got the got the hot dog box. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs. Hot beef franks, hot dogs, get your hot dogs, lady. You want a hot dog? That's how I would do it. Okay, Rob, your turn. <sighs> Who wants a hot dog? All right. <laughs> we got chili. We got cheese. <laughs> you don't You're doing chili cheese dogs? Oh, you know, we well, don't have <laughs> chili or chili. I'm going to be unique, okay? <laughs> that is unique. Well, no, you don't get to choose what goes on the hot dog. They you, give, That's what they just got? give you the hot dog at the plate. I'm going to be honest with you. Said. I'll be honest with you. I have never had a hot dog at a, at a ballpark, so I don't know exactly what your options are. Really limited, no, yeah. I, yeah, I would need a. I, You've I, never had a ball park or, a, or, a, or like a basketball game or anything. You've never had a hot dog. No, I'm cheap. I'm not. I'm not spending that money on that. Sorry. <laughs> you don't eat food at ball games? Not usually. No. Oh, I mean, it's been a long time since I've been to one, but. <laughs> Chili and cheese. He's got <laughs> cheese on his hot dog. <laughs> Rob's just winging him chili and cheese. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> hot chili coming through. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be flinging hot chili over some other patrons here. So you know, think, that's a fun game. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> okay. I like that very mm-hmm. much. Okay. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. What we call a little character definition. What we did over the weekend that we're sure no one else did. All right, that is coming up next. Ace and Friends. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. This is Ace and Friends. So last night, um, I like to spend my evenings a lot of times after we put the baby down around 7 o'clock. I'll sit down outside if it's the weather's even decent and do stuff on my computer and do work. And I was kind of finished early. I'd done some stuff during the day yesterday. And I was looking at a portion of the um, the uh, We Are the World documentary on Netflix. There were some there were some highlights that I'd gone to look up, and it led me to do something that I thought I guarantee you no one else that I know is doing this right now. I started looking at the musical artists in the We Are the World song, the famous song. You know, it's a collection of the biggest artists of of the eighties, nineteen eighty five. It's when they recorded We Are the World, and there's a website. For the Recording Industry Association of America, it's called RIAA. And if you go to their website, you can click on a link that's called Gold and Platinum. And you can enter the name of a band or an artist or something. And it will tell you every album and single they've ever put out that has achieved gold or platinum status. 
Okay. I go there almost daily, routinely, just to see like, Huey Lewis in the news. I wonder how many albums Huey Lewis in the news have sold. And I, and I go, look at it. And, and it shows you the date it was released, you know, when it was certified gold, when it was certified platinum, when it was last certified. And I start thinking, there's nobody else doing this. No. Makes me look at you differently. Why? It's just, I like, I love music. <laughs> I love knowing, I, like, oh, man, that it took, like, six months for that album. To I always think I'm like, Ace is the busiest guy in the world. He's got, like, this baby. He's, like, always <laughs> It always seems like he's doing so much. And you find out stuff like that. I'm like, I don't know. He's got plenty of free time. This he's was not doing anything. <laughs> I had a few moments of free time last night, and <laughs> that's what it, I was doing. You do it every day. You know, you finding out plenty of time. You know, Sports by Hugh Lewis, the news. Man, that's that sold uh, six million copies. And, and this was, is just for the knowledge of knowing. It. Like, you're not like knowing. That. I'm just curious. I don't use yeah. it. I have no use for that knowledge or anything. No. Give me something you did over the weekend Riggins that you're sure that no one else did i powdered my dog i'm pretty sure not a lot of people do that's that. a routine thing for you yeah, yeah long double coat when we go out in the woods he gets mats and you got to put powder in the knots to get them loose and stuff like that so so that's all just to just to free up the yeah do you have to wash him after you powder him no you wait? no you just brush it out but you can add the powder to the the mat and then you can get it out more Is that easily. regular talcum powder yeah, it's like corn. They don't use that stuff anymore because they, you know, got sued or whatever. So now it's like made of cornstarch, but it, it yeah. smells like baby powder. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay, Rob, what did you have the weekend that no one else did? Can you think of anything? <sighs> you said you had something for me a minute ago. Oh, Rob told us this morning on the Ace and TJ show. Told us about the the, the Dragon Master. Oh, Dragon Master. Like, uh, yeah, I saw. I follow a guy on Twitter who calls himself the Dragon Master, <laughs> and he's a LARPer. He he does LARPing and he plays professional Magic the Gathering. Professional. Yeah. He also mm, plays a lot a of Hearthstone like, on Twitch. There's real professional magic the gathering. Yeah, that some people do it as a career and they make really good money. What's his name? Brian Kibler. I feel like if you're gonna have a title like Dragon Master, you can't be named Brian. <laughs> 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 Why? You, you should have like a cooler name. So like, it's the Brian part, not the Kibler part that it, you have the biggest it, trouble yeah, with. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. You should you should be named like Flame or The Rock, you know, <laughs> not Brian. <laughs> Brian okay, the, the Dragon, Dragon Master. <laughs> it's like shut up. Oh, that's almost, it seems fitting in this case. Yeah, that, maybe it does. The Dragon yeah, Master in Magic the Gathering, that his name is Brian. When they, like, unmask the villain, you're like, oh, that's just Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. All right. There is a trend that is hot on TikTok, and I'm curious as to... Rob, you don't spend a lot of time on TikTok, do you? Oh, I do. I do a lot. I okay. Do. Right, I'm curious if you or Riggins have seen this. I don't know that anybody's really doing it, but everybody's talking about it. Next. Ace and Friends. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. He'll join pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. Ace and Friends. One of my favorite things, as long as we've known Riggins, is the, uh, you know, whatever it is, the the, the Kentucky tennis racket or yeah. whatever. <laughs> That's a good you one. Know, the Pittsburgh waffle or whatever. Sure. <laughs> those, those things that he that he tells us about all the time. Yeah. That usually come from Urban Dictionary mm-hmm. and are usually re- like the, some of the grossest. Yeah things you would ever imagine that you know nobody does that yeah you don't think anybody does it okay there is a trend on tiktok and i'm i'm curious because i know tiktok gives you based on the algorithm different things so you may be seeing something on your tiktok riggins or rob that i'm never seeing and vice versa mm-hmm. but there you know a man and i both we bo- she's the one that sent me this and then this started me seeing a bunch of these um because we follow a lot of different couples that are on TikTok. Um, have you heard of the Thirsty Hamster? No. Uh, yes. You have, Rob. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Thirsty Hamster, Riggins, is apparently when you open the sunroof on your car mm-hmm. 
and the man would lie on top of the of the roof of the vehicle without any clothes on and the lady then um acts as if she's a thirsty hamster yeah it's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> you're what's right what's the point of that <laughs> just some kind you of weird had, thing you ever had bare skin on a on a car hood <laughs> that same that just sounds dangerous yeah that's uh, third degree burns yeah well, it's not on the hood. You're on the roof. I mean, on the roof of the car, even worse. So it's probably got to be parked in the garage, I would think. That's how you would do it? Well, you can't be moving. <laughs> Agreed. Because you can't be actually behind the wheel at the same time. So so the vehicle's got to be in a stationary situation. It would be too dangerous. Yeah. A, he'd have to hang on. She can drive and, 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 and be the thirsty hamster at the same. I don't know why yeah. I said it so low. But, so what, are these it, girls talking about doing this with yes, the guys? Yeah. Yes, yes. It, that's what it, that's what started it. Amanda sent it to me and said, "Have you ever heard of this?" And I, and it was a woman saying uh, something about how sad I am when he refuses to be to let me be the thirsty hamster. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, "There's nobody that really does that. Like, that's no. not real." No. But it's a, but it's funny, and now yeah, it's sure. become a thing. And you, have you seen it from more than one source, Rob? Yeah, it's all over. It's it's trending very hard. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> It's trending very hard. <laughs> Is that... Uh, do you and Meredith share TikToks, Rob? No, she, often? she watches reels on Instagram. Oh, so it's not something you would send to her and go, check this out. Huh? No, because she's watching like things that I saw like two months ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So there you go. It's, uh, it's called The Thirsty Hamster, if you want to check it out. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Oh. This... Riggins asked this question during the Ace and TJ show today about things that people still do that they don't care about. I got two classic answers from my wife to go along with mm. the ones that people have added that we'll get to next. Hang on. Ace and Friends. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. He'll join pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. Ace and Friends. So this idea started during the Ace and TJ morning show this morning. And explain where it comes from, Riggs. This woman is uh, encouraging people to do wild swimming to help with anxiety. She's talking about going to swim in ponds and lakes. And she says it can help with your mental health. I said, well, I haven't swam in a swum in a pond since I was a little kid, like on a Boy Scouts trip. Maybe that's what's wrong with your mental health. Maybe. Well, so, what's wrong with my mental health? Shut up. She's now charging people <laughs> to go out and swim. She takes them out to yeah. swim and things. So yeah. your point was, tell us, I still blank. Yeah. Some things that you just refuse to give up doing. Like uh, Alyssa on our Facebook page that said, I will stop parting my hair on the side when my face becomes magically symmetrical. <laughs> Regardless of what the youth think is trendy. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Yeah, that middle part thing was hard for a lot of people to get you. When, when you were told, it was a couple of years ago, that the side part was out and it was middle part from this point on, that was what was hot. Yeah, but a lot not, of women had a hard time with that. Yeah, but it's like you're not Gen Z. You shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't plug into exactly what Gen Z is doing. Exactly. Because you're not Gen Z. I asked my Don't get wife. get offended by it. I, I asked my wife this after we talked about it this morning. She had two answers. One, I still, white, why after Memorial Day? Don't care. Le after Labor um, Day? Doesn't care. Yeah. She does not care. I, on the other hand, am just, nope. Yeah, that's nope. A, that was a hard and fast rule a yeah. while back. But Her other one is animal print now and forever. Oh, really? She's yeah. an animal oh, print person? Oh, good. Like, yeah, she loves animal print. Really? On furniture and stuff? Uh, Not as much. Uh, at Maybe as an accent on furniture. Like, okay. one time I had this little love seat, and she... And, we, she went to the store and came back and brought like a little leopard skin uh, 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 pillow to put on it or something. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, she likes, loves animal print clothes. Doesn't wear a lot, but she loves it. 
is that hot or is it not hot, but she refuses to give it up? Uh, it just depends on the clothes. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so let's see. Uh, what else did, did uh, people, somebody said, I still wear skinny jeans. I will never give them up. Yeah, I know. Skinny jeans are not cool, I guess. Yeah. Um, Jessica said, my husband still plays Pokemon Go every single day. Oh, my God. Every day? Is that not cool anymore, Rob? It's, it's, no. Mm-mm. It's okay. it's It's time has gone bye uh christy said high-waisted jeans i will never give them up um bangs stephanie said i've always had them i always will sometimes they're in style sometimes they're not but always for me there you go that's the right attitude is it yeah okay why should other people tell you what what you need to do yeah do what you want to do yes Uh, okay granted but i don't know it just seems like at some point you got to just freshen up a little bit let me try something new yeah let's see if i like something new let me try to update my style a little bit you know so you're not just deciding like i'm gonna look just like i did in high school you know as you age you need to change a little bit you know your body changes your face changes you put on weight you lose weight you've got to kind of adjust to those things yeah um and then uh where's the one go car said still flossing over here Flossing the dancing flossing? That's the way I took it. Hell yeah. (laughs) Where are you Uh, doing that? Don't do that. I think that's hysterical. Where are you going where you're going to be doing some flossing? At Panera Bread. Uh, Just like (laughs) flossing. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. So, Riggins, Dr. Phil has spoken out about (laughs) Travis and Taylor. Yeah. Oh, great. (laughs) The world needs to know what Dr. Phil thinks of Travis and Kelsey. Yeah. And the challenges they're going to face. This is weird. But we'll let you hear Dr. Phil's take. Coming up next. Ace and Friends. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. We were just making fun of something that's coming up on TV tonight. Taylor and Travis, the risk the, the risk at hand or whatever title so, fox so stupid <laughs> so, so stupid. fox investigates uh it's tonight at nine eastern on fox taylor and travis the ultimate love story it's a fox investigation tonight at nine eight central on fox an investigation <laughs> an investigation that's what it's called that's as if the, they as if they're like you know running from like double murder or something like they're yeah. on the run TMZ investigates Taylor and Travis. Ultimate love story. Tonight at 9 Eastern, 8 Central on Fox. It's an ultimate love story, but we needed to investigate it. So between, you got that tonight. Uh, is The Bachelor on tonight? Oh, is that back? I think so. I don't watch a lot of t- I don't watch TV. I don't watch The Bachelor either. I just don't know. Monday's mm-hmm. Monday Night Raw for me. Yeah. I, I got to see the aftermath of... Same uh, thing. I got to see the aftermath of Elimination Chamber. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Which is pretty... Yeah, I heard it was. It's pretty good. I woke yeah. up 5 o'clock. I didn't wake up to see it, but I woke up. I just happened to wake up at like 5.30. And it was on. It was awesome. Yeah. So, uh, But anyway, Taylor and Travis, the investigation. So what have they done? They've pulled in the promo for this thing. They've pulled a bunch of people like Patty Sanger, who used to do the Millionaire Matchmaker. On, yeah. Is it Bravo? I think Bravo. Yeah. Uh, who else is in Mark this? Cuban. Mark Cuban. How did you get Mark Cuban to comment? <laughs> Like in a sit-down interview about like the the risks Taylor and Travis are facing Surely as a new couple. He was already there for something like a Fox so. business. I feel like you should be way busier, Mark Cuban. Like you don't have time for that. But and Doctor Phil, does. yeah, Dr. yeah. So Doctor Phil is the one we're listening for here, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see if this will play. The biggest risk factor I see is if they both have schedules that are so full that they fight to spend quality time together. Long distance relationships, Harvey, they're, they're hard. They don't go to CBS and do the errands. But remember what he said, he said, I like that she's like that. The other ones may felt competitive. 
and felt inferior. So in other words, what they're saying is the thing we don't work out for is the fact that they're busy. They're busy. Oh, Thank you, Dr. Phil. <laughs> I mean, he said a lot without saying anything. Well, well, I think look the, well, the biggest risk factor is if they've got busy schedules. Right, wait. I get Patty Sanger being on this. Yeah, that's her thing. That's her but, field. But Dr. Phil, you're Dr. <laughs> Phil, man. Yeah. You're Dr. Phil. Why yeah. is Dr. Phil, like, why is Mark Cuban on this? Why what is Mark it? Cuban? I think that's an even more bizarre one. Why is Harvey Levin sitting down in front of a TV? Harvey Levin, the guy that runs TMZ, he's an attorney. What, like, does yeah. Harvey Levin ever go, I th- I don't need to be done. Like, let one of the guys, the guys under me do this. I shouldn't be sitting here doing this. <laughs> you would think. Talking about Taylor and Travis, the ultimate love story tonight on Fox. An investigation, hard hitting investigation. Yeah. Did they approach Dr. Philip? We need your expert opinion on yes, this, Dr. I, Phil. I, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, it seems that that's the only reason he's on there. It's not as if he was doing something else. Yeah, they're all on set. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Phil McGraw, talk show host and psychologist, speaks on. Taylor and Travis. Well, any idiot, though, could tell you that the, the biggest problem they're going to have is they never spend any time together because yeah. she's super busy and he's super busy. Yeah. I they're mean, it making, doesn't take a psychologist to tell you that piece of information. They're making it work. Leave them alone. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's, but let's remember, they've only been it's a year. They hadn't even been a year yet. Yeah. It's only been like nine months or so that yeah. they've been going. Out. Why are we talking about it? I don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now we're into it. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. The story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. And is there any possibility one of the men in the room would take this guy up on the offer that he has made? And it, it is, like I said, the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. You'll have to share this with someone as soon as you hear it. Coming up next. Ace and Friends. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. He'll join pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at AceTJ.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. So one of our big things here with the Ace and Friends podcast is to give you something that you can share with other people the rest of the day. I like to call it the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. Here is today's edition. Well, first off, have you ever traded or bartered for something with somebody? Is that something I normally do? Uh, My dad did it all the time. All the time. I've done it with like trading cards, you know. Okay. Pokemon. Well, there's a site called cashortrade.org. A post went viral over the weekend after some guy was desperate for concert tickets. He wanted to see Grammy-winning bluegrass legend Billy Strings in Nashville, mm. but the show was sold out. Okay? He needed two tickets. And he offered to trade those two tickets for a lifetime subscription to his wife's OnlyFans page. Oh, you give him two tickets, and you could see his, quote, hot wife naked and chat with her, end quote. <sighs> he called it a for real offer and linked it to her account. She goes by the name Stevie Vixen. Stevie Vixen. So you have to assume that she knew what he was doing. You have to assume the other ticket was for her. Uh, not clear if a deal happened or not, but at least one person did make him an offer. Um her OnlyFans page. I didn't look this up. This was reported. Mm-hmm. This was included in the in the info. Her OnlyFans page includes adult content, but no nudity. <laughs> she bills herself as the quote the milf next door. Oh, quote. nice, classy. <laughs> classy. She's a mother. Well, and and here he is. I mean, he's trading a lifetime subscription for two tickets to see Billy Strings. In Nashville. I wonder if they were comparable price-wise. Yeah, I was curious about that. Well, 
It's not like Billy Strings. I yeah, don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how what, much of that's worth. Know, it doesn't say what she charges for not getting nude on OnlyFans. Yeah, for, yeah. Again, adult content, but no nudity. It's like I'll just go follow her on Instagram. I mean, that's the point. Of that. What's that? I mean, isn't that the whole the whole point? Does that mean she's? I mean, is she doing things, but she's not nude, naked? I don't know. Is she telling jokes? Yeah. <laughs> So if you had two tickets to a show, would you would you trade out if it was it was for like somebody somebody that you thought oh, I would be interested in this OnlyFans? Would you do that? Uh, maybe. I can't think of a scenario. I, I don't have subscribe you ever to anybody. Been, I was on gonna say fans. I know you don't. We've asked you this before. You don't subscribe. Have you ever been no. tempted to su- subscribe to anybody on OnlyFans? Sure. Um, would you be more likely to, to subscribe to someone famous or or not famous? Famous, really? Yeah, yeah. Like who? Who's that? Is there anybody out there, Riggins, that would make you go, if she hit OnlyFans, I'm in? Casey Musgraves. Really? <sighs> yes. Rob, is there anybody for you? Uh, no, not that I can think of. Okay. Maybe yeah. Scarlett Johansson. If she said, I'm doing OnlyFans, you would you would pay the $10 a month or something like that? I mean, she's, she's, she's a smoke show, as we, we, as we say. Right. So the question was, $10 yes. a month, okay, you would pay the $10 yes, a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 bucks a month. Ooh, that's too much. Okay. 25 bucks a month for Casey Musgraves, Riggins? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. It's all about your priorities, Rob. I guess so. It's all about your priorities. Yeah. yeah so this guy, no, no, again, no telling if it actually worked or not, but he offered a lifetime subscription to his wife's OnlyFans page for two concert tickets to a sold-out show in Nashville. Hmm. That is the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. So Riggins just said, I've got something. Yeah, I Which fa- usually is very entertaining to me. Yeah, I found a great trend that's happening on social media between fathers and daughters. I think it's hysterical. I'm going to share it with you coming up next. Ace and Friends. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. Ace and Friends. So uh, we all spend a lot of time on social media looking for content, looking for new ideas for the Ace and Friends podcast, for uh, all the stuff we do here. And I ran across a great trend this weekend, and I think it's so funny. Maybe you've seen it. You've got young women, like early 20s, fresh out of college, calling their fathers and saying, Dad, I got a job interview. I got, yes. You know what I'm going to say? Oh, my God. I think it's so funny. They all do the same thing. Dad, I got a job interview. And you hear the dad on the other line going, oh, that's great, honey. What, 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 who are you interviewing with? And she goes, have you ever heard of the company Exxon Mobil? <laughs> He's yeah. like, uh, yeah, I've Wait, heard of it. Here it is. I, you I, have I, it? I can let you hear one of these. Yeah, okay. I got one ready for later. Yeah, yeah. I did not know this is what you found. Here, yeah. here we go. You heard of Exxon Mobil? Yes. It's like an oil company? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw like a job posting and I applied. It's an apprenticeship yeah. opportunity in an offshore oil rig and it pays so much money. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, you're in the middle of the ocean, the wind is blowing. It's probably one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. <laughs> but they offered me and they said you'd get trained. Because you may die. Why did they <laughs> offer me that? Do they think I can do it? That's insanity. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think I can do it? That's insanity. (laughs) It's $180,000 for six weeks of work. He's like, uh, the the dads are just like floored by all these things. And I've heard one, one woman even did. She goes, and it's underwater welding. (laughs) <laughs> on, the, on the offshore oil rig because are you crazy like have you completely lost your mind i think that is so funny 
I love that third. She's like, do you think I can do it? That's insanity. <laughs> no, I don't think you can do it. <laughs> There's no way in hell you can do that job. I love that. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Hey, what do you value more? The accolade or the money? There's something that popped up based on um, a former professional football player who's on American Idol who, who gave a statement that actually makes you stop and think. Yeah. Coming up next. Ace and Friends. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at htj.com slash neogenics. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. Ace and Friends. So there's a guy on American Idol right now. His name is Blake Prohl. He's the son of Ricky Prohl, who used to be a wide receiver in the NFL. He played most notably for the Carolina Panthers, among other people. But Blake Prohl is, uh, went to ECU, I believe. Is from Charlotte, yeah. went, to, uh, went to ECU, and he's phenomenal on American Idol. Yeah, he's good. Just phenomenal. I don't watch American Idol, but I've seen this clip was floating around. Uh, but he has spent time in the NFL, right? Or is it, yeah, did, uh, did he make a team, or he was oh, on a practice know. squad, or something? Yeah, I like think that? he was. I don't. I don't know. I'll, I'll but but he came up with a pretty interesting scenario. Yeah. So he was doing an interview, and they were asking him about his football career, and he said, "Honestly, I would rather win a Grammy than a Super Bowl." And I was like, "Oh my God." Now, as a if you're if you're great at both things, I guess that would be oh, a difficult decision. But yeah. it wasn't for him. He said, "I'd rather win a Grammy than a Super Bowl ring." And I thought, started thinking about it to myself. I was like, "Would I rather win a Super Bowl or a Grammy?" I think I'd rather win a Super Bowl. I think I would too. It it it, it all depends on because the Grammy is the Super Bowl of music, so to speak. Right. That's the highest award that you can theoretically win. Yeah. In music, it's much more subjective because the Super Bowl is a team that you win, you win, you win, boom, there you go. And you're part of a team. Yeah. Um, it just depends on what's more important to you. Yeah. Like, and I looked it up, the guy with the most Grammys ever, you never heard of the guy. I mean, he's a composer, you know, he's got 27 Grammys or yeah. something like that. There are a lot of people that never win Grammys in, in, that you never heard of because they give Grammys in every category, yeah. every musical category. So people that you you, you would never know because they're never on the radio or anything. Yeah. And like, which would be cooler to have in your house? Like the Grammy or could, you can wear the Super Bowl ring out to out to eat. You can go to Chili's in your Super Bowl ring. You don't really want to bring your Grammy around if you're... <laughs> if, some, if you walk into somebody's house and... On the mantle, under a light, let's say, is a Grammy Award. Looks cool. On the mantle, under the light, is a, uh, if, if each player gets their own Super Bowl trophy or whatever, what are you most impressed by? I think the, the Super Bowl ring. I really? So too. Yeah, because yeah. there's so many different music categories you could get a Grammy for. Yeah. But there are so many more people doing music. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that makes it. Which, which would you pick? I don't know. I really don't know. Which would it you? It kind of depends on the category, maybe. Would you rather win a Grammy or a WWE championship? <laughs> oh, with a the belt. A Grammy, because the, the championship what? is it's predetermined. That's, scary. Uh, that's surprising to me, honestly. You're, I know. You could have that belt up on the mantle yeah, under a you light. Know you're going to be the person. You know, I mean, that's predetermined. But I mean, like, it's I can still go, though. I'm almost 56. I can still go. If I had to. No, I don't think so. You know, I have it all worked out in my mind. I know. Of course you do. I I, 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 I I know how this would I, we'll get into this in a second we'll come yeah. back to this I don't want to get great <laughs> good Ace and Friends your new year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight help yourself with Calitrin Calitrin is the safe effective way to lose weight when you buy three months supply right now you'll get three months free it's scientifically proven to help you lose weight order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss Calitrin the extra funny podcast is brought to you by Neogenics 
Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. He'll join pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at htj.com slash neogenics. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. This is Ace and Friends. I mentioned this a minute ago. I don't know if I... Here's why I don't want to tell you how my entry into professional wrestling would work. Okay. Now, I don't, I'm not saying WWE or anything like that. If anybody oh. doesn't know, I'm a huge wrestling fan. I, I, I would never expect to be a part of like WWE or even AEW or anything. Yeah. But if there were a local promotion in the area who said, hey, you know, would you like to put together a program? I have worked this out in my head numerous times. Right. Much like I have if... I were ever asked to speak to LSU's football team prior to the national championship game. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Ace is crying. I swear to I God. My, I have my speech prepared. <sighs> but my entry, my entry into, I don't, but I don't know if I want to give away my entry into professional wrestling. Well, you've teased it for, I don't know, 10 right, years. And you said, oh, I'm not going to tell you. Here's how it goes. I'll tell you how it goes. Maybe okay. this will get somebody interested to listen to it. Here's how it goes. I would go, I would have to, my, I would take Cade. If Dax is old enough, I would take Dax also. And we would be seated ringside. And somehow, whatever action ensues transfers itself outside the ring. And I don't know if somehow the guy knows who I am, whatever, and he mouths off, or I'm cheering and he mouths off, and the guy, and the guy reaches out in the middle of whatever match he's in, the professional wrestler, and I'm seated in the crowd. Now I'm standing because he's saying something. I'm like, Well, you talking to me? And he just goes, and he smacks me. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're off to the races at that point. Okay. We're off to the races. Because then I get interviewed and I make a challenge. I challenge him. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I uh, we did, then we set it up for a match. So like six weeks. I need six weeks to train or whatever to get ready. Okay. <clears throat> and, then, and then we set it all up. And I've already got a couple of interviews worked out. Uh, but one of them I point out to him, you know, in the interview that when it's all, he doesn't understand what he's done. Because he's gone too far. It's not about wrestling. Now it's about revenge. Family. It's about hurting someone. It's about the fact you tried to embarrass me in front of my sons. And that's unacceptable. Yeah. No grown man can allow that to happen. I cannot allow you to embarrass me, to humiliate me, to open hand slap me, which my father taught me is the most disgraceful thing you can do to another man. That cannot go without retaliation. And at the end of it, I will point out um that when it's all said and done that night my children will be there they'll still call me daddy my wife will be there <laughs> she'll still call me daddy <laughs> and when you're looking up at the lights and I'm standing over you and you're wondering what just happened you'll still call me daddy <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Rack them up. People are just flooding into that's the armory to see that. that that's, <laughs> that's, <it. laughs> that's the basic gist. I've yeah. got, there's I, more or less. That's pretty much it. I'm so relieved. I thought you were going to say, and the wrestler comes up and smacks baby Dax in the front. I went, oh, God. <laughs> no, no he's smacking you. No, he's got to hit me. Okay. And then then, then, that, then we're off to the races after that's that. That's your intro to the business. That's how I get in the business. That's how I get in for, for at least one match, like to raise money for Peyton's Promise or something. Yeah. Would you lose that match? Oh, no, I'd have to win. You'd have to win. Because I can't. It's the story. Yeah. Redemption. Right. And that's the only way it works. I mean, I'd have to get beat up a lot. Yeah. I'd have to bleed. Oh, my God. If I could ever get in a wrestling match, I'd have to bleed. I'd want to bleed so bad. Yeah. 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 I would Sell look. it. Yeah. I don't know how to. I don't, I don't know anybody in the wrestling world. But anyway, if anybody knows anybody, I've got it. I've, <laughs> there's more to it. I've kind of got, but I pretty much Great. got it all worked out. We're good to go here. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Are there certain hobbies? that make you undateable? The answer is obviously yes. The most undateable hobbies. Uh, Coming up next. Ace and Friends. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. 
As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. Ace and Friends. When you date someone, Riggins, do you pay much attention to, at least early on, their hobbies? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it says a lot about who you are, what you're into. Yeah. And if- you got to be curious about the other person early on. That fades. Yeah. But you got to knowingly be curious about their life. Have you ever have you ever been talking to someone and they mentioned a hobby and you're like, oh, that's going to be a problem? I was seeing a really hot girl, believe it or not. And early on, she was like, I'm really into knitting. I was like, there's no way you're this hot and into knitting. But she, she was. She was. Yeah. And it was that a, like a red flag? Was it kind of a turnoff for you? Like, no, but it was just, shocking. Just weird. Yeah. So um, there is a survey that has been done about your one hobby that's a deal breaker. Specific hobbies that are red flags. All right. So here's the top five. We'll go five to one. Number five, collecting controversial memorabilia. Oh, like Nazi stuff. Serial killers, Nazis, Porn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, know, you go to if you go to a grown out of college, if you go to a guy's place and he's got a collection of porn videos or whatever, it's like yeah. for real. That's what are you doing? Yeah, anything that's um w- they said weird taxidermy. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, that's all right. Number four, um anything that's harmful to animals, like bullfighting, which I found odd that, that would be the one they would start with. If yeah, bullfighting, bullfighting is your hobby, I don't know. Um, dog fighting or anything like that. I can yep. see that. Yeah. Uh, number three, being obsessed with politics, particularly when it's rage and hate fueled. Yeah. So that's a hobby that makes someone undateable. The third biggest one, being obsessed with politics. Number two, being obsessed with celebrity culture, especially worshiping celebrities. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. It can be a big turnoff to someone. And number one, and I'm all for this. Number one biggest hobby that's a turnoff pranking people. Oh. <laughs> it said especially mean spirited prank. I just love to prank. Well, it's Ugh. like the guys that do it. I saw a guy in a Home Depot over the weekend. It was a TikTok. These three guys they were they were going around pranking people by moaning in their ear. Yeah, it's like the guys looking at uh, like uh, pipe sleeves, and they would come back and go. Ugh. Ugh. And this old guy was like, "What is going on?" And he was, and there were three different guys. And before it was done, old guy, he's probably about my age. He ends up taking out one of them. He's like, that, "You know what? That's a." The second one came up while he was saying something to the first. Like, hey, you need to back up. The second one did it in his other ear, and he managed to. He got a hold of that kid and kid. He's probably you know twenty years old, nineteen, twenty years old. Yeah. He roughed him up a little bit. Then the other one jumped in and he managed to get a couple good shots in. And they before they ran off. Don't be messing with people on Home Depot. I just don't like the like there. Was, I saw one the other day. A guy had like bird seed in his hand, and he stood in an aisle in a Lowe's or Home Depot like place and just threw the bird seed in the air. So it all came down on top of him. And then he turns around. And the guy's like. What, is that bird seed? Well, like, what is that? It's all over the floor now. And they end up with a bunch of people. It was at a Target. They end up with a bunch of people that worked at the Target trying to figure out what. So that you're telling me that came out of the ceiling. And the guy's like, I was just standing here looking at these pillows, and bird seed fell out. I mean, you see it, it's all over the floor. And the other, and then the guy that actually did the prank is standing there going, Yeah, it was just, I was right here looking at whatever. That's great. Now you got a mess that somebody else has to clean up. That's yeah, lame. it's just kind of annoying. Uh, the rest of them. Uh, it says being a social media influencer yeah. is a turnoff. Uh, gambling uh, and smoking weed. <laughs> yeah, it said it's not partaking. If you're making smoking weed your hobby, yeah, <laughs> it's not a hobby. Uh, I did see that being a social media influencer, influencers in the wild the other day had a girl who was in her bikini at the on the in the water, right at the edge of the water, and she had taken her. Um, a ring light stand 
all the way down to the to the water's edge. And so I guess she didn't have any friends there. So she had her camera set up on her oh, ring light stand. Yeah. And she's out there at the edge of the ocean. Little kids are having to run around her in her stand. And she's oh. out there doing her dance. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of gone a, a touch too far Yeah, at that point. Oof. If you could have your own contract rider, mm. what would you want to have? What would be included? Next. Ace and Friends. Your New Year's resolution is in full swing and you are trying to lose weight. Help yourself with Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. When you buy three months supply right now, you'll get three months free. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight. Order it now at acetj.com slash weight loss. Calitrin. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. The Extra Funny Podcast is brought to you by Neogenics. Neogenics is the most trusted stem cell clinic in the Carolinas. Heal joint pain naturally by medical doctors with no surgery, no downtime, and no medications. Find out more at acetj.com slash neogenics. Ace and Friends. So, I am, for people who don't know, I was in this band, I guess I still am, for a long time called Charity Case. And the band existed to raise money for Ace and TJ's Green Kids. And we're in the middle of doing this documentary. It's a pretty interesting story. You know, a group of guys that came together, been together over 20 some odd years, have raised $1.2 million for charity. Nobody's ever made any money. But while working on this over the weekend, I was watching some some stuff. And um, one of our band members pointed out that as we began to play places and, and, and do more things, we were able to have a rider. And any band that's in concert has a rider where you get so much of this. And, you know, most famous like Van Halen had a deal, no brown M&Ms. They had to have a bowl of M&Ms, no brown M&Ms. And actually, there was a reason for that. The reason was to see if anybody was actually paying attention to what the, the details of what the contract said. Because if they said that they'll pay attention to that, they'll pay attention to everything else. And... <clears throat> It's, it, it, it's, it's kind of a fun thing, to be honest with you, when you show up someplace and they're like, hey, all right, there's a case of beer here and a case of water. Mm-hmm. And here's a vegetable tray. Then we have food after the show. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a, it's a pretty sweet way you know, to go through the evening. Mm-hmm. If you could have one thing, though, whatever you want, because that's that's big time bands get so specific with the things that they have or want or desire. And they get really expensive too. Is there one thing that would be that would have to be on your your concert rider? I keep thinking about food and alcohol and stuff. And I guess if there was one food thing, I would want like shelled pistachios, pistachios, just a whole a yeah big, that are already out of the shell. It yeah. just seems very luxurious, and I would love that. If I had my own, I just a place to park. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to park close to the building. I just yeah. want reserved parking right there that's it yeah more than anything else that would mean more than any food Mm -hmm. maybe i can have a sandwich that's fine i'll stop at jimmy john's yeah but i just want to be able to pull right up and park because i hate going to do something like that you have to park like a mile away down the road and walk down or something like that Um, a place to park and somebody to tell me where to go so i'm not left standing around yeah yeah yeah. looking like a (laughs) jerk yeah yeah somebody just lead me where i need to be because one thing i hate is wandering yeah like i'm not sure is it am i going over here am i going over here what time we what time do you want me when yeah like i just want somebody to handle it be like hey here come with me we're gonna handler you want want a handler rob is there anything that you could think of if you could have anything on your contract rider what would it be uh probably just probably just something to drink i don't you know i don't really, i can't really think of anything but what in particular uh i'm a big fan of uh baja blast zero so give me a whole whole thing of the baja blast zero <laughs> <laughs> just some baja blast just, will be fine no, no food like with your love of food i'm shocked there's no, with no uh no taco bell no kfc no deep dish pizza i would say no because i'd be afraid they'd mess it up because i don't because i'm very picky about what i like so I'd, want, I'd like to take care of my food myself, to be honest with you. Well, that's the point, though. You get to tell them exactly what you want, and contractually, they have to provide it. Okay, well, then some pizza. Yeah, some good pizza. Good pizza. Oh. oh. For somebody who's picky about it, just saying, hey, some good pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound very picky at all. 
I mean, I guess. He's picky. I didn't I, know. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't prepared for you to come back. Right. <laughs> what do you mean when you say you're picky? Oh, I'm picky. Like, I, I, there are a few things that I uh, will, like, cook cook for myself or whatever. Like, I don't want um, most fruits or vegetables and stuff like that. So, like, uh, vegetables are a very integral part of cooking. And uh, I just don't want them. <laughs> I don't want them. Yeah, I love that. So you just don't bother with them? Try not to. Okay. <laughs> if you could have um, an unlimited amount of something, think about this for a minute. You could have an unlimited amount, an unlimited supply of one thing. What would it be? Next. Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. All right, so Riggin shared a pretty fun. I don't know if it's fun. It's interesting. The story from the Olive Garden about the customers who are in a hurry to order lunch. Oh, yeah, they yeah, were rushing yeah. The, they were rushing the lady along. Let's cut to the chase. Yeah, that was like one of the biggest complaints that servers get when they work a lunchtime shift is that people will walk in and say, hey, I, the first thing they say before, like the drink order is taken or anything, they tell the server, I, I've only got 30 minutes to eat, so everything, I, we're just going to order everything at once right now. And then they proceed to, you know, order the drinks, the uh, unlimited soup and salad for like five ninety nine or whatever it is, and just tell them like, hey, just bring two servings of the soup out right now, along with our drinks and stuff. And they were talking about how that's super annoying, which I totally get. But you do get, it is, and it's weird because you're in a, a short period of time. Yeah. And I do kind of understand, hey, I've got it. There's no reason to be rude about it, but I've yeah. only got 30, I've only got 30 minutes. Can I go ahead and can I do this? Or something? Yeah. There's, a, what, there's a, a right way and a wrong way to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an appropriate way to say, like, hey, we're kind of in a rush. But when they say it's unlimited breadsticks, is it really unlimited? They bring you, when you sit down at Olive Garden, I think the rule is they bring you one breadstick for every person plus one. So if there's two people, they bring you three. If there's four people eating, they bring you five. But then you can say, hey, I get another another, another basket. basket. Okay. Because then there's that, like Rob talked about that place that does all the wings you can eat. Yeah. And they bring you four at a time. Yeah. Just yeah. forcing you to continually ask and hunt them down. And hunt hunt them down, them down the like, server. Hey, can I get four more wings? You know, another plate of wings instead of, yeah. instead of giving you, you, you eight or 10, you get, mm-hmm. it's four. So if unlimited, though, really meant unlimited, what would it be? Ooh. At all times, you get anything you want delivered on demand, what would it be? And it doesn't have to be food related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, a neck massage. Yeah. Uh, a pedicure. I would get somebody to scratch my back. Like that, anytime I want it, because that never happens anymore. And like whenever you're dating somebody, you can get her to do it like three times, and then she starts complaining about it. You ever notice... Um, not to get off track here, but it made me think about it. You ever notice that if you are uh, dating a woman or with a woman, that the inordinate amount of time you end up scratching her arm or her back or rubbing or her head hair, pl- compared to the amount of time yeah. that if you say, hey, would you scratch my back for a second? Oh, the the yawning, the <laughs> sighing. I'm telling you, every girl I've ever dated has done that. They, they <laughs> Like you've just asked them to move Mount Rushmore. Yeah. But meanwhile, it's like rub my head. Wait, here's the other thing, dude. You get this where the you're uh, uh, like you stop, and then you get the like the yeah the shoulder will jerk, the arm will. Yeah. <sighs> you start, what are you it's doing? Like, what? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, oh! You're telling me you want me to rub your back yeah. somewhere? Yeah. A man will do that. No, throw her shoulder out of sockets. <laughs> it's like, I, yeah. What are you doing? I'm not a dog. Yeah, I can't stand that. So that's what I would want, like, or at least like a girl that doesn't complain about it when I ask, like once a year. With the, and you'd have like a, a set, a minimum time. Yeah. Like seven minutes every yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. so annoying. It's amazing, though, the time difference between uh, how how long you have to do one and how long, you, you know, you'll have to run back 30 minutes. Yeah. And she'll give you about 45 seconds. Yeah. The one thing I dread in relationships more than anything, you're sitting on a couch watching a movie, and then she reaches over and grabs a pillow, and you already know where this is going. And then she puts it down in your lap, <laughs> and she lays down, and you're like, oh, great. So now I've got like a Pomeranian, you know, the weight, you know, 15 pounds of your yeah. fat head on my lap. And now in addition to watching, to watching a movie. A movie that, that you don't even want to watch. Now you have to watch the movie you don't want to watch, and what? And rub her rub, hair. Yeah, play with her hair. Yes. Caress her forehead. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. While you're watching, you know, that new J-Lo movie on Amazon. It's like you just want to die. 
<laughs> Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. I saw a stat. I I don't know. I was stunned by it. But I, I, I keep my friendships very important to me. But in a survey, one in five men said they would sleep with their best friend's girlfriend or wife if given the chance. One in five. That's 20%. That's not cool at all. So some ladies responded on our Facebook page. Rachel said, once my husband died, almost every single one of his friends tried to make a move at some point. I was absolutely disgusted. Dang. Um, Meg said, yes, they hit on me. My friend's husband's hit on me. I would never hit on my friend's husband or even ex-husband. They could be divorced 20 years and I'm still going to have nothing to do with that. Are they hitting on you or are they flirting? You know, I think there's a difference. Uh, she says hitting on. Hmm. My friend's husband's my friend's husband's hit on me. That's crazy. Uh, and then Tabitha said, in my opinion, if his friends are hitting on you, they already know he's cheating. What you do with that is up to you. Yes, I've had several guys I have dated, friends hit on me. The guy I was dating turned out to be doing the same thing his friends were. Oh, so man. her theory is, so Tabitha's theory is, if a guy hits on you, it's because he he knows that the guy you're seeing is already flirt, is already cheating on you. Okay, Dr. Freud. Uh, another lady said, I've had ex's best friends hit on me during our relationship and after, and you are correct, he was cheating. And they all knew it too because he... He would bring his new girl around me, around them, and then me a few days later. Ooh, spicy. That yeah. sucks. 20%. One in five. Yeah, I th- that, pro- that number probably makes sense. If you lined up five random guys, one, one of them is probably a scumbag. Yeah. And then uh, one lady said, uh, I trust him wholly, not me. And his best friend never hit on me. But then I guess that could mean I'm ugly, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Probably not, though. Man, that's depressing, though. Yeah. I, and I don't think I don't think um, women would do it as much. Although, I mean, it always reminds me, you know, as your parents get older, especially my parents, like sometimes you learn things that you wish you didn't know. Like I remember my dad telling me one day, and I won't say the lady's name, but we were talking about my neighborhood growing up, and he said, oh, yeah, I'm so-and-so, man. She tried to hook up several times. Really? And I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, so I named the kids. His, his mom? He goes, yeah. Yeah. Was she single? No. She was married? Yes. <laughs> pa- our, they're like the, They were part of the group in the neighborhood. The families that all knew each other that yeah. hung out. Did you ever get the vibe that she was? I was like eight years old. No. And why is he telling you at eight? I don't what, know. what was the point and of that? I was like, no, no. This he told me later. Like when I was in my my probably my thirties. Yeah, oh, it was oh, much about, later. It was about it was, when it you was were a kid. Twenty five, thirty years later that he told me, and I was like, "What? Don't tell me." And even then, though, I don't want to know that. Yeah. He's like, "Yeah, I came home. You know, I had to, remember I had that Honda Goldwing motorcycle. Like it was a big street touring. Yeah, yeah she asked for a ride, and I was like, "Yeah, I'd jump on." And put the moves on. And, and, and according to him, she was, you know, Come all on. over. Did uh, and they didn't go through? He didn't go through with it. No, he, he didn't. He no. never implied that. He said no. He said definitely not. He said that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just reported what he said. Yeah, I'm yeah, taking yeah. his word. I got you. Ace and friends.